I'm Tiger Height, and I'm here to make AEW Collision and Pro Wrestling Majestic again. Am I the only one who forgets this show exists sometimes? Like, seriously. I saw the updates last night when I was out. I'm like, wait, AEW has a show right now? Like, oh wait, that's right, that's Collision. Anyway, this show was fine. But let's kick off with Ricky Starks coming out to $100,000 worth of fireworks, and I hope that's a lie. Man, it must be really nice to spend $100,000 of daddy's money, right? Especially something as useless as a pose and a segment. Now, it was kind of funny because it just went on and on. I swear to God, this was Kevin Nash WCW Pyro. So after that, CM Punk comes out. They have a decent exchange. I wasn't, like, super into it. But then Christian Cage and Luchasaurus come out. Then Darby Allen comes out. No music, by the way. They just sort of come out. And this set up the tag team main event. Mm, it was fine. I'll be nice about it. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Our first matchup here was Action Andretti and Darius Martin taking on Bullet Club Gold. A fun little backstage segment that set up this shit match, and for the most part, I am okay. I do like that they're keeping Bullet Club Gold sort of exclusive to Collision. And that's the one thing about Collision that I do like, is that there are some people that are almost exclusive to this brand. And it works. And guess what? This match it's, was fun. It was a fun match. I like the team of Action Andretti and Darius Martin. While Dante is hurt, I think this is actually a good team. Now, they lost with a bunch of finishers. It was first the right hand of God, then the front face lock DDT thing that Juice is doing, and finally Blade Runner for the win. I liked the match. It was paced well. I thought people were super into it, which gave me more enjoyment too because I like good energy in the crowd. It was fine. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Does it mean anything? No but I liked it. Up next was Miro taking on Nick Camarado. Nick Camarado attacked Miro during his entrance because they already used up the amount of firework that they had. But after a while, Miro got off some stuff and finally game over for the win. It was not really a match. It was just there. Good energy still. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs down and that's being really nice. And up next is for the AEW World Trios Champions. House of Black taking on the acclaimed and daddy ass. We've already seen this match, but thank God we're finally defending these World Trios champions again. I almost forgot that these championships existed. And once again, exclusive House of Black here. I don't see them a whole lot on Dynamite, but I don't particularly mind that. The match was fine. There just wasn't a whole lot here. We've seen it already, and we saw it better at Double or Nothing, so there you go. But it was what happened after the match that was important. So it was the end, which is essentially Black Mass for the win. And after that, we had Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthew say something to Daddy Ass before they left. What did they say? We don't know. But after the interaction, we had Daddy Ass taking off his boots, putting them in the middle of the ring. I think we all know what that means. Does it mean what it's going to mean? Maybe. He had a great career, 30 years in the business, and he looks great for his age, but maybe it is time. If it is, he's a legend. Absolutely. One of the pillars in the Attitude Era, and to be honest with you, one of my favorite sort of mid-carters. He always had that it factor to me. I just don't know why they never did anything with it. I think the one thing that he really needed was a manager, somebody that would be his mouthpiece. Mm, I don't know. I like the reaction from the acclaimed. I like the match as a whole. There was good energy for it, but it was just sort of there. I wish they had built it up a little bit more. Up next was FTR segment. Eh, there was not really a whole lot to say about this. They're just promoting the tag team title match for next week's collision. I legitimately thought that this was going to be on Dynamite, but I'm actually glad it is on collision. So I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs down because it was just stuff that we've heard already. Oh my god, why? <sighs> Alright, whatever. Sky Blue taking on Taya Valkyrie. So Sky Blue's like, oh, I watched her wrestle, she was a big inspiration to me. If Taya Valkyrie is your inspiration to wrestle, Jesus Christ. She's a lot better in Mexico, let's put it that way. And a lot better in Impact. But they actually presented her as kind of a deal. Not a big deal, but a deal. And it was a curb stomp for Taya to win, and finally Taya challenged Britt Baker for a match at Dynamite, which is going to be happening. Maybe they're building her back up to something that maybe she should have been in the first place instead of the person who can't even beat the TN TBS champion. I almost said TNT. It's the same thing, essentially. Eh, the match was fine. The promo was actually kind of garbage, let's be honest with ourselves. 
I'll be nice. I'm going to give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. God, this show's just mid. And finally, our main event, we have CM Punk and Darby Allin taking on Christian Cage and Luchasaurus. And people were just harking on Christian about the turtleneck. To be honest with you, I don't mind it. The guy looks incredible, but he is a heel. And I think the presentation that he's doing now with like just the regular pants and the turtleneck is good. Presentation is everything, and Christian knows how to do that. It kind of sets him apart from a lot of the other guys, to be honest with you. This was a fun main event. I liked it. The construction was good. Uh, I just don't like the whole tweener thing that they're doing with Ricky Starks. He being uh, extremely charismatic, good babyface energy, but then he gets in the ring and does heel stuff, and he's teaming with a heel. It was a jackknife pin with hands on the ropes for the heels to win. I just really like the presentation of this main event. I like Christian's presentation. CM Punk still gets booed out of the building. Darby Allen was there. I liked his entrance. And Ricky Starks is kind of being a main player here in Collision. And I don't mind that. He was just kind of lost in the shuffle within Dynamite. And Rampage is totally useless at this point. So them putting him on a pedestal like this, I think, is a positive. But that was Collision. Let me know what you think in the comments, wherever you're listening or watching this on. Like the video. And if you could, share it with all your friends. Get a hat and also become a patron. There will be a link in the bio or in the description, depending on where you're watching this on. As always, be majestic.